In a previous video, we spoke about how to get social proof in the easiest way possible, and that was simply by collecting the wins on a weekly basis with your clients. And you can do that by using Google Forms, which captures all the information. But I want to show you something that is going to eliminate a step where this information is then updated automatically, so that way you don't even have to do anything. And what we're talking about is taking all of these wins that your clients have submitted and then pasting them on your website so that way once it's entered by the client once the win is entered by the client it shows up on your website automatically and you don't have to do anything so let's walk through how to do that the first thing is obviously set up your forms and your sheets to collect the information if you don't know how or you didn't see the previous video make sure you watch that because that's the first step in this whole process the next step is you want to come over to your website now I'm just using WordPress and you want to set up a new post or you can set up a page if you want give it a headline something like weekly wins give a brief description of what people are going to see add an area to add HTML code now that's very important don't worry we're not creating code or doing anything like that it's just a little copy and paste I'll show you how to do that in a second and then add your call to action and once you have this set up make sure you save the page and that is done the next step once everything is set up here on your website is you want to make sure you can come over to not just your forms or the response section you want to make sure you can get it in your sheets in the Google Sheets section so again if you don't know how check out the previous video I'll show you how to do that once your page is set up or your sheets are set up just like what you see here you're gonna see kind of like a database it's gonna have all this information and things like that in there here's what the interesting thing is about this whatever you see here is what's gonna show up on your website the public will see the timestamp last name all this information if you don't want people to see that the simple way is you want to come to click the column up here the letter a I don't want just people to see timestamp no one cares click that come down select hide column and now you can see this now let's say maybe you don't want last names you can do the same thing come up here click this arrow click the hide column and now people when you enter this code into your website you're just going to see the date their first name and what their biggest wins were for the week so what I'm going to do though is I'm going to highlight this column a little bit just to make things stand out a little bit better okay so now this is the information people should see now they're probably going to see these this up here where it says week wins responses this may or may not change it depends depends on how Google works sometimes it's funky uh, form responses kind of looks silly so if I come down here right click that to rename it let's just say wins let's just leave it like that and anytime someone enters their information here on a form and submits it it should automatically be added to this and then updated on your website so to get this to your website you come up you click file go down to where it says share now see where it says publish to web click there now this may look different for you this may look something the important thing that you want to know about is you want to come over to where it says embed click embed entire document is fine for now click publish and then there's your code so you're gonna take this code you're gonna copy it come back over to your post right where you have your HTML block or your code block and you're going to paste that in there okay make sure you save your website now what happens here depending on your website depending on the code depending on Google there are all kinds of factors it's going to show up and it'll probably look a little bit funky so when you come in you actually want to preview it by just entering this it's possible that your page is going to look like this see how I've got to scroll all the way over to see everything it doesn't fill out this whole right side of the page I don't like that so what I'm going to do is you should see some code somewhere either on this page or in an email somewhere and all you have to do is copy this code code and see where see where it says the word false right here basically just highlight everything to the right of that and delete it then take that code what it'll say width and height on there and you're gonna paste it onto the end of that so right at the end false right see how it says the quotation marks width height this will lengthen it out and it will make it a little bit taller so if we look at the preview now what we see automatically see that here's the person's the date here's their first name what was the best wins for the week they don't have to scroll to the right anymore they can read everything they just have to scroll down to look at it and I guess that's okay now if there's anything in here you want to change like see where it says enter the date maybe you want to come back then you can go back and you type it in and you can type in date once you have this all done and set this should work in terms of the updating so let's come over let's just go to our form let's do a preview let's use these dates let's just type in Kelly test and this is a test to see if this works and then click submit now the important thing to know is that Google will take about five or ten minutes to update this information I waited about five minutes and now let's come back I'm gonna come over to the sheets to make sure right you can see Kelly's information is there that was pretty quick and if we come back to the website the code nothing's changed there I'm going to preview it 
And let's see, if we scroll down, there's the test. Kelly, this is a test to see if this works. So pretty simple way to automatically do this so you don't have to do any of the work. And if you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out, let me know, and I'll do the best I can to help.